Grow your online business today with this video sponsor, Squarespace. What up, folks? Welcome to the news with me, Alex, the YouTuber with his eye to the ground. Every week, we'll do an update talking about all the exciting things going on with DaVinci Resolve, Blackmagic Design, cameras, general technology, and everything in between. This one, though, is a Blackmagic heavy kind of week. So first up, we've got the Resolve update. DaVinci Resolve has been updated to 18.1.4. This was released on Monday, the 6th of March. Now this is an incremental update. It mostly just has bug fixes, so there's nothing too exciting to report. All of the new additions are on screen right now, so you can take a peek. If you're one of those few that's in desperate need of support for monochrome decode mode for your ARRI raw clips, then you're in luck. But for everyone else, it's mostly just some performance increases, bug fixes, and general stability which never a bad thing, it's just not particularly exciting. Next up, all of the training documentation from Blackmagic Design has been updated to DaVinci Resolve 18. So if you didn't know, there are some really fantastic training resources for DaVinci Resolve in the form of Blackmagic's own training books. Now you can buy physical copies if that's something you'd like to do, or you could just download the PDFs completely for free from Blackmagic's own website. I've linked that down below so you can go and check it out. Now, these training books are full in-depth guides to all the different areas of DaVinci Resolve. And most of them come with training files so you can follow along and online exams to prove that you've completed them, which is pretty cool. Now, up until very recently, they were for DaVinci Resolve 17, but they've recently updated them to DaVinci Resolve 18. So everything is now up to date. So if you're new to DaVinci Resolve and you prefer that style of training, then definitely go check them out because they're a really, really brilliant resource. So continuing with another piece of news from Blackmagic Design, they have announced some price drops. On Wednesday, the 1st of March, 2023, Blackmagic Design today announced a new lower price for Blackmagic Cloud Store Network Storage. The Blackmagic Cloud Store Mini 8 terabytes is now reduced to $2,355. The Blackmagic Cloud Store 20 terabytes is now reduced to $7,595. And the Blackmagic Cloud Store 80 terabytes is reduced to 22,995. That's a reduction of seven grand for the most expensive one. So there you go. Now, if you're not familiar with the Cloud Store models, here's what Blackmagic say. The Blackmagic Cloud Store is storage that syncs and shares media with Dropbox and Google Drive. It even understands proxy workflows. So a whole timeline and its media can be shared in minutes. The internal memory core is so fast that it can saturate the 10 gigabits ethernet ports to their theoretical maximum speed even with multiple users connected. That's why it's perfect for sharing media between editors, colorists, audio engineers, and visual effects artists. Basically, they're network connected storage devices that are just super fast. So you can have multiple people editing an entire project with the media files stored on this cloud store device, and they will of course also sync to the cloud. Now that's also the reason why they're so expensive compared to a standard off the shelf NAS, a network accessible storage drive, and it's because it's using flash storage. Super fast SSDs, essentially, and 80 terabytes of flash storage is gonna be fairly expensive. Now, these devices are kind of out of reach for most regular SMOs like you and me, but I felt it was newsworthy because of one particular line. They had this to say, the reduction of up to $7,000 has been made possible by better pricing on the high-speed flash storage components. Now, it's a real simple line, but again, it's just a very black magic thing, which is much appreciated. They're managing to build them for cheaper, thanks to cheaper components. So they're passing that saving, maybe not all of it, but at least a big chunk of it, over to you, me, us, the consumers. Now, they don't have to do that. They could have just pocketed a larger profit, but instead they're passing the savings over, which is always a good thing. Now that does explain why there's no cost change to the cheaper, most accessible version, which is the Blackmagic Cloud Pod. This doesn't actually have any internal storage. You just plug in your own SSD. So no savings on the flash storage. The Cloud Pod is staying the same price. But overall, good job, Blackmagic. Like they care what I think, they don't, but great job anyway. It's always good to see. Now, really quickly, before we jump into our last bit of news, I just need to say thanks to this video sponsor, Squarespace. If you're looking to create a website that's professional, sleek, and easy to manage, then Squarespace has got you covered. 
With Squarespace, you don't need any coding or design experience. Simply choose a template and customize it to your liking. It's all super simple, drag and drop. And with their new fluid design, you have total control over every element of your sparkly new website. So whether you're an artist, a YouTuber, or a small business owner, or just someone that wants to share their passion with the world, Squarespace has all the tools you need to succeed. Online stores, marketing, blogs, and now even scheduling tools. So if you fancy checking out Squarespace for yourself, simply head over to squarespace.com forward slash Mr. Alex Tech to start your free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, just use the code Mr. Alex Tech at checkout to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Well, hey, and now for the last piece of news, Grand Petty has said that Blackmagic Design had aggressively increased its investment in new products. Now, yes, this is really vague, so we probably can't get too excited, but again, based on speculation, it's always fun. It just potentially means we're going to be getting some more goodies from Blackmagic Design. Maybe some more pocket cameras coming soon because people are desperate for a new pocket camera, or maybe the new box camera that everyone has been waiting for. And with NAB, literally next month, which where Blackmagic have historically announced tons of new things, could we be getting something new? Who knows? Let me know what you think down below. Now, this information comes from AV Magazine and The Australian, but I've also linked an article from ymcinema.com down below because they summarize it all really, really nicely. Now, apparently the information actually came from Blackmagic Design's annual report. Petty added that Blackmagic Design had aggressively increased its investments in new products during the last financial year, working on multiple new technologies. Now, the actual big headline for all of this was the fact that Blackmagic are struggling with supply chain issues, with some components having lead times of more than 12 months. Now, the article actually covers something else really interesting about Blackmagic, which I never knew. Maybe it's not that interesting to you, but it's interesting to me. Blackmagic actually manufactures all of its products in-house. They fully own their entire production. And as Blackmagic Design builds its products based on demand, most of its inventory is in parts rather than finished products. So they do everything themselves. They just get the bits in and they put it all together. So there you go. Just some interesting insights into Blackmagic Design. So what do you think? Do you think we're going to get something new from Blackmagic at NAB in April? I sure hope so because I will be there myself for the very first time. So that'd be really cool. Let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to catch me next week for more news. Take it easy. See you later.